okay today we are going to talk about army and the police yeah we usually know that army and police they are look here army the army was the second important pillar of the british administration in india the east india company started recruiting its own army which came to be known as a sepai so sepai which means soldiers like the sepoy army was trained and disciplined according to european military standards and was commanded by european officer in the battlefield okay and then during the early stages early stage of british rule three separate armies had been organized in three presidencies of bengal bombay and madras okay so first one is the army was second important pillar yeah so the army is the one army was the one of the important pillar of british administration in india so the east india company recruited the main peoples so the east india company recruited the men to its army so that army was called so that army was called sepai army so which means sepai means soldiers so soldiers army and also sepai army so the sepai army okay the sepai army was trained in equal to the european army so the sepoy army soldiers were trained in equal to the equal with the european army to why to fulfill the orders of orders of european in battle yeah so from this one we come to know that so the british army the so european yeah, european army the yeah, european army and officers were used the sepoy army so the british initially formed the three separate forces so yeah the british initially formed the three separate forces in bengal bombay and madras so the army was a best instrumental in establishing and expanding british rule in india yeah the army was the best instrumental so the army is one of the best and important instrumental for what for establishing and expanding british rule in india yeah so the army is the one of the very very uh, very very important one for establishing and expanding british rule in india and indian soldiers were paid less than in english soldiers yeah so indian soldiers got less 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 salary compared to the english soldiers for example uh, in the year 1863 yeah three jo- three soldiers so three soldiers received a 300 rupees for the monthly salary together yeah three soldiers together got the monthly salary monthly salary of 300 rupees only yeah then each one uh, each one got only 100 rupees 100 rupees 100 rupees for the monthly salary so from this we come to know that the english so the indian soldiers got the less salary compared to the english soldiers yeah and then in 1857 in the 1857 the army was 86 percentage indian so in the 1857 the indian army the the army so the army consist of 86 percentage indian only but irundalum all of the top military position all of the top military position the general the commander that po- that post so all of the, the top military position were held by british only so held by british only so all the positions handed in the british and only except to subedar so except to subedar so subedar subedar is a only i post for indians so when in 18 yeah in 1857 okay in 1857 yeah yeah in 1857 so the in the 1857 the army consist of 86 percentage indian only but all of the top military position were held by british only except which post except subedar post so subedar is the only i post for indians yeah look at here in 1857 the indians constituted about 86% of the total strength of the company's army 
However, the officers of the army were exclusively British only. Yeah, so 86% Indian is okay. But all of the top positions were held by British only. Yeah, all of the positions and uh, in British and only. Is in British and only. Yeah. Okay, next uh, we are going to talk about police. When the East India Company took over the Diwani in 1765, the Mughal police system was under the control of Fajas, who were in charge of their circus or rural districts. The Kotwal were in the charge of towns, while the village watchmen were paid and controlled by the Zamindars. Yeah, okay. Diwani in Bengal in 1765, circa uh, when the English East India Company, so in the 1765, when the English East India Company acquired the rights, the Mughal police went to the Baujar who was in the charge of regime. Kotwal, Kotwal was then the police officer who managed the cities. So Kotwal was the police. So Kotwal was the police officer. So that police officer managed the cities. So Kotwal. Kotwal was the police officer, that police officer managed the cities at the same time. So at the same time the villages were, so at the same time the villages, so in the, in the time, in the 1765, the villages, so there, uh, there were so many villages only. So the villages and also there were no police, there were no police. Again in the 1765 there were no police. So, yeah. How did they protect uh, their villages? How did they protect their villages? At this, yeah, look at here. The villages were protected by village guards. So not police officer. So the villages were protected or guarded by the village guards only. So the, uh, the in the village, there are the rich mans. So the rich mans were called as Zamindar. So the Zamindars paid and kept it in the under under his control. So the Zamindars paid money to the Zamindars paid money to the that village guards and also the Zamindars kept it under the under the his control. So after that only the police system was created. After this only, so after this only, the police system was created. Who created the police system? Who has created the police system? Cornwallis. Yeah. So the police system was created by Lord Cornwallis. He relieved the zamindars from the police function. So before, uh, before the police system, so before the police system was created, the zamindars only the the Samindas only paid and paid the money to the village guards. Okay, so uh, before the police system created, Samindas only had a responsibility for the village protection. Yeah, so Karanwalis, the police system was created by a Lord Karanwalis. He relieves the Samindas from police functions and established a regular police post in 1791. Khan Wallis established a system of circles, Athanas, each headed by a Daroga. The authority of the Daroga extended to village watchmen who performed the police duties in the villages. The hereditary village police became a Chaugidars. In the big cities, the old office of Kotwal was however continued and a Daroga was appointed to each of the wars of his city. The Daroga system was extended to Madras in 1802. So Khan Wallis, Khan Wallis was the first man, first man to create a police force in India, police system in India. So Khan Wallis freed the zamindars. So because why freed, why he freed the zamindars? Because zamindars had a responsibility for the village protection. So after created, after created the police force, Khan Wallis freed the zamindars from the policing and brought in the formal police brought the formal police system he formed a police force that called a sarkas that headed by taroga so karan wallis formed a one police force so karan wallis formed a one police force that 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 name was called sarkas that headed by 
so yet yet uh, leader of that uh, leader of that police force taroka so they were empowered carry out roles uh, patrol in the village okay yeah they were empowered so they have the power to carry out the patrols in the village so the guards who traditionally managed the village were called saugidas so yeah the guards so what who are the guards the zamindars paid to the guards only so the guards the guards were protecting the village yeah the guards who traditionally so they, they traditionally managed the village yeah the guards who traditionally managed the village were called saugidas so they are they were called saugidas the old system of policing what is the old system of policing old system of the protecting guards so the village guards only protect uh, village guards only were protecting villages so that's that is a old system so the old is a, after the police system introduced to itself the old system of policing continued in the big cities before the post of district superintendent of police was created all the thanas were under the general supervision of the district judge in 188 superintendent of police was appointed for each division later the district collector was entrusted with the task of controlling the police force in the districts the main task of the police was to handle the crime handle crime look at here handle crime not prevent crime handle crime and to prevent the conspiracy against the british rule so every thanas every thanas were under the supervision of the district judge only so every thanas every thanas under the supervision of the district judge only before the post of the district superintendent of police so before the yeah, before the post of the superintendent of police was created every thanas was under the control of district judge only after created the superintendent of police so every thana is under the control of superintendent of police so before that thanas are thanas are controlled by supervision uh, district judge after that th- every thana is controlled by superintendent of police then in 188 a district superintendent of police was appointed for each town so in 188 only every uh, in for each town for each town a district superintendent of police was appointed so the responsibility of managing the police department was handed over to the head of the district administration so the responsibility of managing the police department so the responsibility the whole responsibility of the police department so the whole responsibility of the managing the police department was handed over to handed over to the head of the district administration the head of the collector only so the main task what is the main work so what, what was the main work for the police in that time so the main work for the police was prevent conspiracy against the british rule and deal with the crimes handle the crimes handle crimes and to prevent a conspiracy against the british rule suppose someone yeah someone was stand against the british rule mean the police arrested him and get into the got into the jail so the main task of the police was to handle the crime and prevent conspiracy against the british rule